Hi, I'm Debbie and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're doing our longer readings from June 16th through the 30th for my Libras. Hello, my Libras. Oh, let's see what's going to happen. Okay, so longer reading means I use three decks of cards. I use my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards. Gives me that main message. Then I go to my John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards, fill in the gaps. And then I finish with my Osha Zen Tarot cards, kind of words of advice. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused each deck with Reiki energy, but this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. So, a couple of things in June now. June 17th um, is the full moon. It is in Sagittarius. Now, that it's a very hopeful, optimistic um, full moon. Sometimes what can happen is with that... And I don't know, I haven't said this with any of the other signs, but I feel like for you is that sometimes you can become a little overly optimistic. So, well, you know, so, so just be aware of that. Just be aware. Now, right after that, like it's like the 17th, and that's the time that I tell you to release, relinquish, request, release what's holding you back, relinquish what no longer serves you, and request because it's okay to do that. And that's like three days before, three days after you can do that. That's when those energies are there, the strongest. But the three days after, I think it's like the 18th and 19th, there's this there's this thing with, I think it's Neptune, Mer Mars, and Mercury. And it kind of adds a weird energy to this. It's kind of this in-your-face energy. Um, so just, just be aware that not everybody may be <laughs> all that, you know, sweet and wonderful and happy. Okay. The other thing, too, is on the 21st, we have, in the Northern Hemisphere, we have summer solstice, so that that would be in the summer. I mean, in the um, Southern Hemisphere, we would then have winter. And it also starts our cancer season. Cancer is a water sign emotional, so you know, be aware. Now, the last thing is, and this isn't about June, this is about July. July 7th, but I want to prepare everyone. July 7th through, I think it's the 31st, um, Mercury goes retrograde again. So <laughs> I laugh because Libras, you have everybody and their, you know, they, the, everybody and their mother coming back for, into your life at that time. This is the time when you get those calls out of the blue. This is when people that you have left behind and you have tried to put behind you come back into your life. Now, this may, it might be good. It might be good. But at the same time, it's like, oh, I thought I, I, thought I left them. You know, I, th I tried to, <laughs> I moved. How did you find me? Okay, so just be aware of that. Also, um, it's not a great time to start a job. If you need a job, go ahead and start. But it's not a great time because usually then it undoes itself. That, that happened to me. Started a job, Mercury retrograde. I knew it wasn't going to last, and sure enough, two months later, laid off. Okay, so just, just be aware of that type of energy. But it is all good. Now, first two cards are reversed, so a strong message for you. So first card we have is Knight of Air. Knight of Air. Air is, of course, your energy along with Gemini and Aquarius. This is intelligent, decisive, idealistic, and tireless. Now, events that occur with great speed. Take time to carefully review your options, creative solutions. There is a lot of movement around you these last, these next, these last two. I'm thinking too, I'm feeling people going traveling. I'm feeling people being called away unexpectedly, um, getting on an airplane, you know, having to go, go somewhere. Um, I don't necessarily think of it as a pleasure um, it's, I don't necessarily, I can't say that it's work either, but I feel like you all, maybe you just make a decision that you are getting out of town and you're, you know, I talk about that with you a lot. Why do I have you leaving all the time? But I feel like you, I feel like you're taking, you know, you, 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 you're called and you get on an airplane and you have to take a trip. So that could be with, that could be for any type of relationship issue that could be, you know, could be with work, interpersonal, family type of thing. And it's not, you know, and it's not that I don't feel worried. I do feel kind of an urgency, though. It's like, you know, no, I, okay, I can possibly wait till tomorrow, but I'd rather have a plane tonight type of, I th you know, so be aware of that. Have some extra money in your, have some extra money in your wallet so that if that has to happen, 
that you have money for whatever reason you need money for. Okay, but I do feel like it's going to be fairly fast. Um, so just be aware. Okay, next card is also reversed. Here we have the Knight of Earth. So here we have two knights. Okay, Earth is of course our Taurus, Virgo, and our Capricorn energy, solid energy, money energy, family energy, things that you can touch, okay? Loyal, dedicated, honorable, and kind. Time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments, a guardian angel. So whatever this movement is, whatever this thing is with the plane ride, now plane, it could just be that you're just going forward. Maybe you made a decision to, um, you know, okay, to leave a job, to leave somebody, to leave a relationship. And it's like you want to put as much space between you and that other relationship. And remember, relationships, job, personal, family, it could be anything. You just want, you know, so maybe if you're not physically getting on that plane, so I do feel plane travel, but you just want to get away as fast as you can from whatever that is. So if it's a job, it's like they keep trying to get you back. Um, a relation, you know, you know, it, it's just you just want to put space between the two of you, whatever that other thing is. So to do that, now if it is a job, it could be that another job opens up for you too, okay? But it's gonna, I feel that these two weeks, these last two weeks, it's going to be quick moving energy. So be, just be aware and keep money in your money in your um, pocket in your wallet, okay? I really do feel that too. And it's, it's, I feel determination. I feel very focused energy. Um, let's see what this last card says. Release. Archangel Azrael. Okay, so this is a major arcana card. This is Archangel um, energy. This is the end of a phase or situation. And that could be what I'm feeling with you because it's like, really, it's like, I want, as, like, again, do I have to say it again? So let's say it together. I want as much space between me and that other situation, okay? I am leaving. I am going forward. Spiritual transformation, time to move on. It, it, I mean, and this is very quick movement. And this is you in control of the movement. So it's not like you are the victim of this or that you are just the passive recipient of this. This is you going, okay? Okay, let's see what's going to happen now. Let's go to the next cards because this is... It's a really, it's a really strong, I mean, do I think people are getting divorced? I mean, it could be, but I don't really think that. Um, but I do feel like it's like, there's things, there's, there's, again, it's that space. Could there, you know, I mean, you might be, maybe there, I, I don't know. You, it's just, there's an urgency for you to get out of where you are and to go where you, where you're going. Now, to me, that now that worries me a little bit that if there's people that, I mean, yes, if there are people that if you're in danger at all, please, please do leave that. Please do leave that. But the, the, but the urgency here, I mean, this is very directed. This is very, you know, you directed with this, okay? Okay, and this is, I'm talking, this, you know, suffering in silence. So if this is you, if you are in trouble, if you are in a, having a problem, please, please, you know, you know, if you are able to, you know, go to the police, if you're able to go to a shelter, please, please drop us a comment. You know, we, I have a lot of people here that, you know, that we, you know, not here, but I, all here and we all pray and it may, and we all have solutions. Okay. We might possibly find solutions to help. Okay. But I feel like it's a, you know, like, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So suffering in silence. Um, you know, I do feel that, you know, you, you know, it's whatever you have been dealing with. It's like you put up with it long enough. Okay. Okay. Now let's go ahead and cut. I'm going to put this one just aside and we're going to go ahead and cut for three cards because I think that that was for who, for a specific person. Okay, three cards down. Okay, here we go again. Reverse cards, strong, strong message for you. Definitely moving on, moving into the light, leaving the past behind, leaving that, you know, again, you know, moving on, moving on. Okay, going to our next, solitude. Now, 
as you move on, maybe you do need to take your break. Maybe you've been thinking about this. Maybe you've been, you're very, you know, you can be very introspective. You can be very, you know, you internalize a lot, my Libras. So maybe you, you know, you, you're taking this all in and you're making your plan. You know, I always talk to you about making plans, right? But this is, this is really strong, strong energy with this. Now, last card, third eye chakra. Third eye, now there's a chakra system. You can go on the internet, YouTube to learn more about this. Third eye is considered your, well, it is your intuition. It is your connection. Now it's not your crown chakra, it is, but it is your internal intuition. It is the, you know, it is the one that receives the messages. It is the one that can can connect with your, you know, your spirit guides, guardian angels, um, divine, higher power, voice of the universe, whoever that is. And it's really about you, you know, with this solitude and this, inter, you know, introspection. It's really about you coming up with your with your new ideas, with where you want to go, where you want to move forward to. So yes, now I know we we're ta I was talking about you know that other person too, but there is going there's a lot of like job changes here. There's a lot of um, yeah there there's a lot of um, uh, leaving that past behind and moving to that future. And the thing is about with this, it's like it's like. I almost feel like intuitively, it's like, you know, this is your road that you have to go on. Okay. Um, you know, it's like, you know, that, you know, you have to do this. It's like, this is what I, I know this. It, I mean, please always take care of yourself. Please take care of your finances and everything else. But it's like this internal sensor has gone off inside of you and it is telling you, you know, it's telling you what your next steps are supposed to be, okay? And, you know, as long as you, you know, as long as you weigh and balance, because that's who you are, and you know, okay, you know, you want to know, you want to know your risks and benefits, and as long as you do that, you know, I think it all works really well. This is, again, too, besides the introspection, I will, t you know, go back to say, you know, connect, meditation, Get out there with that full moon, you know, bring in that spiritual side, do what you need to do with that. So final words, final words. This is a really interesting reading because I, I, I keep getting that moving on and that, you know, and again, that could be with work, that could be with family. It could also be that maybe, maybe you have, maybe you're, you're going away for college, maybe you have made some decisions to to travel, um, you know, it could be, it could be that too. It, it just, it just almost overwhelms me with the strength of the passion of this. Okay, so maybe I'm coming off too strong, and maybe it's something that's very well planned. Heck, maybe somebody's just going on a cruise, and it's the first time, and I'm, and it's just so exciting to you. I've not been on one myself, but do you know what I mean? But it's just the strength of the passion in this, and the the strength of how quickly this is happening. It just really like, whoo, it takes me aback. Okay, let's go ahead and cut and see. And again, remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. You know, take what you like. Okay, first card. Okay, this is fighting, okay? This is pushing forward. This is breaking out. This is, um, you know, this is basically, you know, nothing, this isn't, no, this change isn't going to necessarily be easy, okay? There's ramifications of any type of change, okay? So if you are leaving a job, um, it could be then, how, what do you do for money, okay? Money's important, we need money. Um, if you are moving, then you're going to be in a place that you may not have friends, relatives, things like that. You know what I'm saying? So not everything, you know, you know, it's like, you know, whatever you're in and you have to leave, you know, maybe you're going, maybe you're just, maybe you're going on a cruise and it's the first time, like I said, the first time and you know, you don't know, do I tip the person? Do I not tip the person? Did I tip too much? You know, all of these things. It's always, you know, be aware that everything, 
you know that that it's not just going to be like here here it's it's like you have you know you're you have to you know there's a lot of things that you may have to fight for okay just be aware of that next card okay again projections so this is now this is interesting that that's on our solitude because the projections i'm really um I'm really picking up more, you know, when you're projecting, you can project a positive outcome, you can project a negative outcome, but I'm really kind of seeing you going, okay, if I do this, then this could happen, or this could happen, or this could happen. It's all, it's like, I feel like you're, you know, like a chess piece, and you're looking at the chess board and saying, if I move this, you know, if I move my piece, this piece, then they can move this, this, this. So you're really, it's like you're projecting out. I feel like you're projecting out like about like 12 steps ahead. And you know what? More power to you on that one. Okay, last card. Okay, again, reversed. Celebration. I love these ladies. I love these wild and crazy ladies. They are out there in the wind and in the rain. They are dancing their way around. They are celebrating. They are just rejoicing. They are just saying everything's going to work out okay. The thing that, that I love about it is that this is on that release card, you know, which said the end, um, you know, the end of a phase or situation, spiritual transformation, time to move on. That is on top of the third eye chakra, which is your connection. So, you know, here we have these, these very spiritual connections here. And here we go then. And this is on top. So this is that it's, you know, the celebration, celebration. This is that, you know, I, you know, I, feel, yeah, I go back to this, this release. I feel like now, now, you know, again, it's this like getting on that airplane. It's like being released from prison. It's being, re, you know, released. Maybe it's only going to be just like a vacation, you know, and maybe you, maybe you have a cruddy job and this is a vacation and it is a release, but I feel, you know, it, it, it's really interesting with this because it's kind of like once you feel that feeling of freedom, and even if you have to go back to that cruddy job, it's like you can't quite go back the same way. You, you, you come back different. And then what happens with that is that cruddy job no longer serves your purpose, so you start looking for that new job. So either way, any of this, any of this, it's like, you know, we've been, we've talked about some of the, um, the steps that you've been taking and, you know, it, it, again, either way, you, whether it be this for changes, it's like, you know, you, you're not, whatever it is that you go into, and even if you have to come back, you're not going to accept the status quo. It, it's like, you know, you can't, you just won't be able to, so really interesting i love this energy for you my libras it's very it's very liberating energy so please remember to like share and subscribe and my libras as always know that you are loved and be blessed bye bye